What's up, everybody? It's the homie Truth Teller, the street reporter. And a lot of people are always ask me about King Von. They ask me about Lil' Tim, too. And I'm kind of surprised because I would never ask about Lil' Tim a little while ago. But no incidents that happened in Atlanta kind of rose him high in the drill culture. People ask me a lot about him. They know I'm a drill historian. I've been documenting the culture for a while. I actually took FBG case to the board recently kind of gave you some information they got a trial that's gonna be starting sometime next year it's kind of looking like king von trial gonna start sometime next year too it's gonna be in atlanta against Lil Tim. you know the crazy part about all this is Latim was just in the car you know the real incident happened between king von and quando rondo but Lil Tim ended up shooting king von king von lost his life I'm going to take some of this to the board, kind of give you my perspective. This is still an open case. Nobody has been charged, but it seemed like this trial going to be started soon. But we all seen what happened in Atlanta that night. We all seen that uh, it was captured on camera, you know, and that's the crazy part about it. It'd be cameras everywhere. So King Von Death was captured on the camera. We seen that. Um, you know, it's a lot of news that happened about that. We didn't did plenty of videos, a lot of videos on the internet about that. So we're not going to get too much of that information. What we're going to get into is what a lot of people have been asking. Was this a murder? Okay. Or was this self-defense? All right. This is the big, big, big question that everyone is asking. Was this a murder or was this self-defense? Uh, I think it's things they gonna have to prove in this case. Like I keep telling people, you know, self-defense is a case that people can do. Stand your ground. I get it. You know, you feel like your life in danger, your homie life in danger. You can up the blick and do what you got to do to protect y'all. Make sure you go home. Your life ain't the lottery ticket. You ain't trying to play it like a scratch off and hope you win. If your life is in danger, you can win. Go home to your kids. I get it. But like I tell people, you know, staying your ground is kind of like a law for regular civilians, people without cases, people who kind of live in a normal life according to the law. You know, staying your ground ain't for ex-convicts who got five cases, gun cases, you know, who's been charged with killing people and shit like that. You can't just be up in the blick killing motherfuckers. You really, 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 really going to have to prove that. So I think that's one thing people don't understand. I think I see it. I hear all the evidence, you know. It was a fight. You know, Quando Rondo was attacked. I see it. You know, I hear all the news. Remember, I don't got no fight in this. A lot of people feel like it's size picking. I ain't picking no size. I listen to King Von music. I listen to NBA Youngboy music. You know, these are just the facts. Uh, you know, people say it was a fight. Quando Rondo was attacked. You know, Tim did what a friend posed to do. You know, Tim did exactly what a friend was supposed to do. That's what people say. You would want your friend to do that if people was attacking you. King Von has a background. He has a background, okay? He is known as a street dude, okay? He beat a murder case. You feel me? He's from the infamous O Block. His friends is facing a RICO case. Some of his homies is charged with FBG duck murder. These are all the things that I'm pretty sure his lawyer is going to pinpoint, you know, for the self-defense claim. That man got a background. Y'all hear the story of King Von? The man beat a murder case. Y'all see all the raps he be doing? He don't play. That dude really about that. That's what the lawyer going to present that type of case, you know. They're going to feed that image to make it seem like Tim had to do what he had to do. I'm not saying that's the right thing. I'm not saying that's the wrong thing. But they're going to put all these things that has happened uh, in these things right here. It was actually a killing. The A-Roy was killed, you know. That area where King Von is from is very, very dangerous. That's exactly how they're going to play it. You feel me? That is going to be the lawyer for Tim. If you ask me, I think this is what you're going to play. You know, that man got a background. Quando Rondo had to go home to his kids. He was just living his life at a club, man, his business. He was attacked. They got a background. Shit, you seen what happened to Doug? That could have easily happened to Quando Rondo if little Tim didn't do what he had to do to make sure that they got home. 
That's how that lawyer gonna portray it. I'm pretty sure a keen bond lawyer is gonna wanna know what the real issue was. Okay? They gonna wanna know what the real issue was. I'm pretty sure this side is gonna be painted, in my opinion. They gonna wanna know what the real issue was. Cause trying to play it like it was over a girl. I think they're not going to roll with that. That's some internet shit. I believe this was some street shit. They both street niggas. They both from street crews. To be honest with you, I think NBA Youngboy plays a part in this. Okay? I'm not sure exactly how, but I think he plays a part in this. Because Quando Rondo was extra friendly. Okay? He was extra friendly when he seen King Von. And that's when he was saying all the bad things about 63rd, you know? I think he knew that energy. I think that's one of the reasons he was friendly. I think this is the energy that they're going to portray to the courtroom. You know, dude is kind of like two-faced. You feel me? It's the energy that I think they're going to try to portray. They're going to show you that his past rappers had issues with him. Remember, Lil Reese, and I'm not saying they're going to use these names, but Lil Reese said some things about Quan Rondo way before King Von lost his life. Remember NLE Chopper had issues with him. It was a bottle thrown or something like that with Quando Rondo. You got to remember these things. You got to remember Kodak Black had issues with him with the Quando Rondo did the hair thing. And the reason I put Kodak Black in it because Kodak Black was still linked with 100, with 100K. That's Track, which is the manager of King Von. Okay, which is the manager of King Von. Then remember, Melly now got into it a little while ago with NBA Youngboy. Okay, then you got to remember, T Grizzly got into it. It was a shooting, all kind of shit with NBA Youngboy. These are all people who King Von friends with. So King Von already knew about the bullshit Quando Rondo be on. So soon, some shit got down and his name got involved in that shit with Quando Rondo. You know, it was an issue. These guys had problems. They been had problems. This wasn't a surprise shit where he bumped up to him. And <clears throat> nah, hell no. Nah. These guys knew it was issues. It was internet shit between these guys. It been beef. Don't let that guy fool you. This is how the lawyers gonna portray it, I'm pretty sure. They gonna portray it like that. Think about it. They gonna say, man, we understand that it was. We understand everything about the... They gonna say we understand everything about the stand your ground. Okay. We understand and stand your ground. But that they're going to say that ain't what this was. They're going to say this was two guys, two crews who had issues with each other. All right? They just so happily bumped into each other. And a fight happened. A fight. They're going to say a fight happened. Not a shooting. Not a killing. A fight happened. Two people did not uh, hit Quando Rondo. Not two people hit him. Not three people hit him. Now, four people hit him. A fight, one person against one person. This shit got out of hand the moment that young man, Lil' Tim, pulled the gun out. The moment Lil' Tim pulled the gun out, it was a shootout. Police shot. Killed one of Vaughn's friends. Killed Vaughn's friend. Okay? One of Vaughn's friends shot in the head. Shot in the head. Okay? All this shit got out of hand the moment Lil' Tim pulled a gun out. Lil' Tim wasn't an innocent victim, was an innocent civilian. Lil' Tim was a how many times, multiple times felon. He was a criminal. He has a background. He was just a dude who was there who took some shit out of hand. Yeah, maybe this could have got out of hand. Or maybe, you know, a million dollars could have rained out of the sky. We wouldn't know. But all we do know is that two guys got into a one-on-one -on -one fight. Yeah, Cruz was there. It was sticking all kind of shit. But King Von and them friends did not pull a gun out and shoot nobody from Quando Rondo's team. As I recall, I'm not sure how many people got arrested for having guns on them. I'm not sure, but they didn't do anything to your team as far as shootings and guns. The police shot all Von friends up. You shot King Von. It looked like they took the brunt of this. It was a video on the internet of y'all going to the hospital. Quando Rondo didn't look swollen. He didn't look like he was just stuffed out when you guys had to just come through and shoot whatever the fuck up. Who had to shoot the whole party up and shoot whoever he was fighting up, you know? That is what they're going to portray this as, as a fight that got out of hand because that guy pulled the gun out. This is what happened when guns are out, you know? Yeah, 
you know, you shouldn't get in fights. You know, things lead real bad. Things happen. But this was a famous rapper against another famous rapper with police in the area. This should not have gotten to a Yosemite Sam Old Western at the Corral Cowboy type of fight. That never should have got to that. It got to that because that guy pulled the gun out. As far as this should have got is a big melee that probably would have ended up on the internet. The reason somebody ended up in the casket is because someone overreacted and shot a celebrity and treated a celebrity rapper like he was trying to kill this guy. Now, is the court going to believe that? I don't know. You know, I, that's both sides. So if you ask me, what do I believe is going to happen with this case? In my opinion, in my conclusion... Oh, I think this is going to be a tough one. My conclusion to this case, I think, is I think what's going to happen is we all going to have to I think we all going to have to stay tuned. You know, when this trial started, I'm going to actually fly to Atlanta every day of this trial. Uh, I'm going to bring you the news live from the courtroom. I'm going to make sure you get it in depth. I ain't going to let these other internet sites spin y'all with the information. I'm going to give it to you straight and direct. You feel me? So subscribe to my YouTube channel. Make sure you don't miss the video. Keep your donations to yourself. It's Sunday. Now just think about this. You cannot be sending nobody no donations on no Sunday. It's getting out of hand now. You feel me? But I understand it. That's part of the blog game. So don't get me wrong. I ain't knocking nobody to ask for donations because I get it. It's a lot of hard work going these videos. And, you know, it's extra dope if you can send a little extra love to show that you help those videos. But I'm okay with the donations. It's hard out here. You feel me? People struggling. You feel me? The AC bills is up the roof because the weather changing. Send that extra little money that you'll send me on that cash out. Send it to another account, man. Save it. Have some extra money for yourself this time. You feel me? You want to support me? You hit that like button. Bing. You hit that subscribe button. Bing. Guess what happened when you hit that like button and that subscribe button? It make my videos grow all the way to the top. Especially like 1,000 likes, my video be all the way to the top. Now, I asked for 100, 1,000 likes last time. Ain't nobody give to me. But you give me 1,000 likes today on this video, I'm going to drop another board video immediately. But I appreciate the love. It's the homie truth on the street. Blah, blah.